good morning dear students yesterday we were moving on towards the conclusion of on the face of it today we'll complete this lesson we had a discussion about the resolution that took place in the play that dairy the protagonist dairy and you can say mr nan who teaches him nice life lessons so you can take out page number 65 in your book or 66 yes 66 we ended here the lesson yesterday that is i can run i haven't got a thin leg i'll be back he promises he here is derry who promises and what he does he runs away to tell his mother and the most important part in the lesson that we come to know is you know mr lamb talks to himself now what does he say let's see this part mr lamb to himself there my dears that that has or that is you seen to ah you know we all know i'll come back they never do now they here are the children the people who promise him will come back but they never come back not them never do come back the garden noises they fade these three four lines this particular dialogue after dialogue in two three sentences it tells us that mr lamb was also lonely he was equally lonely like you can say uh, you know mr uh, sorry mr lamb was equally lonely like derry so scene 2 derry's house he has run away and has reached his mother you think i don't know about him you think i haven't heard things now this particular conversation is between mother and derry so mother says you think i don't know about him you think i haven't heard things that means she had heard a few things about mr lamb which she might have not liked and she did not want her son to go there you shouldn't believe all you hear been told warned i have been told warned we have not lived here 3 months but i know what there is to know and you are not to go back there and she warns her son not to go there what are you afraid of what do you think he is an old man with a thin leg he lives in a huge house without curtains and has a garden and i want to be there and sit and listen to the things listen and look listen and look right so be singing him talking and what has he got to say to you mother asks what what are the things that he has to say to you things that matter things nobody else has ever said things i want to think about then you stay here and do your thinking you are you are best off here mother uh, instructs him commands him you are better off here i hate it here you can't help the things you say i forgive you now the mother becomes little polite and she says i understand why you talk like this why you are so harsh why you are so uh, like this i forgive you it is bound to make you feel bad things and say them i don't blame you it has got nothing to do with my face now the point has come of resolution that nothing is there with my face what i look like i don't care the transformation has taken place i don't care about that and it isn't important it's what i think and i feel what i want to see and find out and hear and i'm going to going back there only to help him with the crab apples only to look at things and listen 
but I'm going. You'll stop here. The mother again threatens him and commands him, you'll stop here. Oh no, because if I don't go back there, I'll never go anywhere in this world. If I'll shut myself today, then I'll be always ever shut in my shells and I'll never go anywhere then. So this way, dear students, you know, he has come to his senses in this way that he is a worthy boy. He is an important creation. His burnt face cannot stop him. And scene three is the last scene where Mr. Lamb's garden and the noise of a branch shifting, apples thumping down, the branch shifting again. Because Mr. Lamb was working with the apples, plucking the apples, steady, that's got it, that's it. And he's talking to himself. One more, wow, and again, and that's it. And there is a sound of a creak, a creaking sound. There is a crash. The ladder falls back. Mr. Lamb with it, a big thumb. The branch swishes back and creaks. There's a sound of creaking again. Then silence. Derry opens the garden gate, still panting. He's breathing hard, like because he has come running. So you see, you see, I came back, I have come back. You said I wouldn't, they said, but I came back. They here are the parents, the mother. I came back, I want it, I want it. He stops. There is utter silence, Mr. Lamb. And then he talks to him, but there is no answer. Mr. Lamb, it's all right. You fell, I'm here. Mr. Lamb, I'm here. I came back, lay me lamb, I did come back. He starts weeping. Now, dear students, let me stop sharing. And yes, now, so in the end, we come to know that Lamb dies, but teaching him a big, tremendous lesson to move forward. Right? When we talk about these two characters, you can make a note, dear students, in your notepads. Derry is a character who is pessimistic. He's too much obsessed and worried about his physical impairment. On the other side, Lamb does suffer from, he is also suffering from physical impairment and disability. He has stopped thinking about and in the years he has learned beautiful things to do, spend his time in nature. He longs to spend time with children and he is different then, then in many aspects, right? You can make out some differences also. One is optimistic, one is pessimistic, as we discussed, right? And then you can also make out some points. You can note down that, you know, both are lonely, both long for company. But the most important thing is positive outlook towards life, positive approach has made Mr. Lamb not only do variety of things, to see, watch, listen, play, he calls it a game, being in the company of nature and taking care of his apples and making jellies and toffees and jams for children, he calls it a game. Weed garden, his weed garden is uh, an object of beauty for him. So he has done one more important significant task in his life before dying, teaching a young boy a lesson of life that there is much more that life offers to us. His burnt face is not so important to be taken care. There are so many other things that one can take care of, that can provide him bounties in bountiful way, right? So. The right few words, Mr. Lamb is happy, there is sad. Mr. Lamb has acquired this happiness, how we have already discussed, and his disability has taught him what he has further passed on to Derry. Now, if we move on to the question answers, dear children, of NCRT book. Let me share the... I hope you can see the screen clearly. We are on page number 169, right? 
Yes. What is it that draws Terry towards Mr. Lamb in spite of himself? Mr. Lamb boosts the morale of this boy, Terry. And you know, people, those who are suffering from physical disabilities, they are often, you know, lonely, disheartened, disappointed, and so many other things they suffer from. And this way, you know, what is that that draws Terry towards Mr. Lamb? His inspiring words. He doesn't want to go in spite of that he's attracted because he teaches him good things. Now, what this good has? Good things. What are those good things? To have faith in oneself. He teaches him that his burn face must not be a barrier in his moving ahead. He teaches him to go on and move ahead and forget his physical impairment, not to care much about this problem, right? So this way, despite of himself, he's caring. He teaches him that there are many other things to like. Rather than to think on dislikings, one can think of likings more. In which section of the play does Mr. Lamb display the signs of loneliness and disappointment? What are the ways in which Mr. Lamb tries to overcome these feelings? Now, there's scene two. Just now we discussed before Derry goes to her mother or when he runs away to his house, we see that Mr. Lamb talking to himself, displaying his loneliness through his dialogues. What are the ways in which Mr. Lamb tries to overcome these feelings? He does so many things, children, we have just now discussed. How does he try to overcome these feelings of loneliness? He spends time in his garden, taking care of his fruits, his flowers, his garden, his books are there inside. He's fond of sitting, watching, listening to the chirping of the birds, right? So all these things he has discussed. He makes honey, he has a beehive and many other things that he has shared. He likes to be in the company of children. He often shares that children do come and they pluck flowers and they come for toffees and all. So he has employed his time, he has uh, put in his time in making toffees, jams, jellies, and the, he's in sharing. He's sharing these things, not only through words, but also his dialogues tells us through action. So this way, he has tried, tried to overcome these feelings of loneliness and disappointment. I hope, dear students, these questions are clear, first and second. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now, the actual pain or inconvenience caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of alienation felt by the person with disabilities. What does this mean? Physical impairment is physically less, mentally more, psychologically more. It gives you wounds somewhere inside. Physically, you overcome but mentally you want to overcome and it takes time. So this inconvenience which is physical is lesser or is less painful than that pain which a person feels in the form of loneliness when he is discarded, when he is left alone. So these types of things are felt more by the people, those who suffer from disabilities. They are made to feel inferior. There are often callous people in the world, those who make others realize that you lack in this. You don't have this. I possess, but you don't possess. Though that physical impairment becomes less and sense of alienation overpowers it. And this way, what is the kind of behavior that person expects from others? That person expects no sympathy, no overprotective treatment, no special treatment. We can elaborate these points in two marks answer 30 to 40 words 
And if it comes in a little longer part, we can elaborate it. At such people, those who suffer from uh, some complexes, complexities, they feel themselves inferior, alone. Why they feel? Because they are actually lonely. It's not that they only feel. And the solution lies with them only. So what kind of behavior that person expects from others? We discussed no special treatment, no sympathy, no overprotection, but rather make them realizing, realize their strengths, giving them opportunities to explore. When Derry was made to realize that you don't have a thin leg, you can run and inform and come back. And he did the same. So he knew he can run. His burnt face is not a barrier in his running three miles, which was the disability of Mr. Lamb. Giving them opportunities to explore their strengths. This type of behavior is expected by the people, those who are suffering from disabilities. Will Derry get back to his old seclusion or will Mr. Lamb's brief association effect a change in the kind of life he will lead in future? As we have come to the ending, the conclusion, we talked of resolution. This is the part of resolution. As a reader, we don't feel that he will go back to his old seclusions and secluded and isolated world. He has learned, he has been ushered into a new world which will belong to him. He will definitely come out of that, of that isolation and will associate himself with the future. Right? So all these four questions have been done. You can make some notes simultaneously when the things are being discussed. And here we finish with this lesson. Right, dear children? We will continue uh, uh, some MCQs and all based on this lesson. So we have done NCRT questions, right? So we'll be continuing, children. Okay. Let me share the screen. I have paused recording also. Let me uh, wait. Okay. Can you see the screen, children? Now these uh, few questions which are there as MCQs, we can share a few of them. How old was Derry? 14 years old, right? What did the children name Mr. Lamb? There's Lamy Lamb, so C option. According to Lamb, which month of the year was the most appropriate for making jellies? September. So these are all factual uh, questions or it's a recall. Some are based on understanding, some are based on remembering, like you recall the text and answer. So we have to move uh, in all ways. How far was Derry's home from Mr. Lamb's garden? Three miles. Right? Why does Mr. Lamb leave the garden gates always open? He was lonely. He longed for company, not he was sad. It is not the answer, but the answer is he was lonely. How far was Derry's home? We have already discussed. Moving on to the next part, right? What makes the women at the bus stop comment that's a face only a mother could love? The woman was horrified, right? Why did Mr. Lamb grow weeds? Because he was a man with a man of optimistic views and he also loved not only the flowers and the fruits and other things but also the weeds. He called the weed garden. He saw beauty in the weeds also. Why did Derry enter Mr. Lamb's garden? He wanted to be alone there. He entered because he thought nobody is there. Right? So. Why was Derry persistent about going back to Mr. Lamb's garden? Because he has learned that he actually wanted to listen, sit and watch. He wanted to enjoy that company of nature. 
Mr. Lamb, that jocund, jovial company of nature. Right? And of course, Mr. Lamb too. Why did Mr. Lamb ask Derry to stay back in his garden? He wanted his company. This will be the more appropriate answer, application. Right? And how did Mr. Lamb's friendship prove to be a turning point for Derry? He gained confidence. He forgot about his burnt face. He began liking gardens. He made many friends. So C and D, you can uh, leave A and B, you can think of. And the nearest answer would be, the closest answer would be, he gained confidence, right? If you were Derry, what would have hurt you the most? We all are similar in some or the other way. Uncharitable remarks by people, mother kissing on good side of the face, not being able to make friends, mother being sad for you. It's application type. Pre response answer. It can differ from person to person also. Right? So if you were dairy, because we are made to imagine ourselves as dairy, how would you show your understanding towards physically challenged people? Dear children, if this type of question comes, there are options, multiple options given by boards also. They make them right. So need not worry that if I will put this type of answer, then the key may have some other answer. Need not worry. Sometimes multiple answers are also given that A is also correct, B is also correct. So children should be marked that way. Now, moving on to how would you show your understanding towards physically challenged people? Making them understand that being handicapped is not an option obstacle right so this way dear students we have done mcq and the few ncrt questions right i hope you have understood the lesson we'll continue in the next class okay the uh, we'll start with a new lesson events tries an old level Right? God bless you all. Thank you.